Now, up next, Business Week chats with Godfrey Oyema, a business journalist and a chief executive officer of Gobi Communications, who reveals the Nigerian economy in the two years administration of President Muhammadu Buhari. You remember that the first six months of, uh, of, of the government was, uh, was uh, wasted in hunting for a cabinet, cabinet members. That is a period the government should have used to initiate policies that will help and turn the economy around. But they never, they never did that. Now, coming to the, uh, coming to the uh, stock market, you also remember that um, during that period, the foreign exchange market was being controlled uh, by the CBN, in other words, it was, it was people could not bring in foreign exchange as they, as they wanted, neither could, uh, could they exit. And so it was, it was, there, was a, there was a problem in that market. And for that reason, there was lack of uh, foreign exchange in an obviously import dependent economy. And so manufacturers and other uh, economic agents that use uh, foreign exchange could not assess foreign exchange to, to do their, uh, uh, their business. So what that meant was that foreign investors, uh, portfolio investors, including uh, equity investors, they head, they head back. Some of them exited because they were not sure that they could not, uh, that they could uh, uh, send, their, send their, their dividend, their earnings back, back home. What the CBN has done is to uh, operate a restrictive uh, monetary policy uh, because if you if you if you, if you don't do that, there will be a massive uh, demand of, uh, of foreign exchange because so much money will be available to Nigerians to buy foreign. So what they have done, in effect, by making a by operating a tight monetary policy, uh, is to make sure that. Um, the market, the, uh, the, the monetary, the monetary, the financial market is not is not uh, awash with so much liquidity. Also, you 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 uh, record that uh, in the cost of doing that, interest rate has uh, has gone really up. For example, in the uh, in government securities market like treasury bills, you've seen a. Uh, uh, you, you've seen a rate go as high as 22%, and what that means is that banks themselves cannot cannot lend at a rate below 30 uh, 30%. That's not good for for uh, manufacturers or uh, other ag economic agents in Nigeria. I think uh, one of the basic um, uh, promises the the APC uh, government made was job creation. And um, I don't think we have adopted a more, um, uh, a massive and constructive uh, 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 job creation policy as far as uh, this economy is concerned. I, I would have wanted a situation where we go the route of uh, entrepreneurship so that Nigerians could uh, create jobs we employ themselves and create jobs. And that's where uh, making the economy conducive for, for entrepreneurs to, to strive is very germane. And the uh, government has to be very serious about that. Yes, they have done a few, a few things uh, to encourage, uh, to encourage uh, uh, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship to strive, but I think they should be more. They should be more aggressive in their in their policy. I don't think Nigeria has uh, done very well in terms of making uh, make it easy for uh, local or foreign investors to operate uh, to, do, to do their business. For example, to register business in Nigeria takes longer time than uh, it takes in other other West African African countries. And one would have wanted a situation where you investor could come is, uh, easily into the country and register their business. In, in areas like Kenya, it's a lot more better 
within, within, a, within a weeks, um, you could register visa, but that's not the situation in, uh, in Nigeria. Also, when it comes to cost of uh, doing business, like I've just said, interest rate is too high for businesses to strive. If it's too high and tough for uh, big manufacturing uh, companies, you can imagine what will happen to um, micro, micro uh, enterprises. And so where, that's where, where the issue of a uh, development bank comes in. Yes, the government has made some efforts in strengthening, a, in creating a development bank. But I doubt if that bank is well structured and if, it's, if, it's, if they have the adequate capacity to uh, operate. If, it's, if that is done, they will be in a better position to uh, make credit available to entrepreneurs and then uh, entrepreneurship will, uh, will strive and job will be created uh, among, among Nigerians. I want to make the point that um, one of the major uh, problems of Nigeria is uh, low productivity. We are not a producing economy and if we are not a producing economy it means you will import most of the things we consume, the cars we drive, most of the things we use and by that doing you deplete your uh, external reserve and that's exactly what is happening. So, I, I, one would have suggested a situation where the government could use the guarantees. By guarantee, it means government, government can assess any, any amount of money uh, which can be made available to investors, to entrepreneurs, when, when they can guarantee uh, such credits being made available by banks. Because most Nigerians are, are not credit worthy. And so if they are not credit, the banks will not be able to give them a fund. So that being the case, the federal government with its foreign, uh, with, with its sovereign, sovereign uh, strength should be able to guarantee uh, such facilities so that Nigerian uh, investors can uh, go into area, any area of the economy that they want to invest in.